In today's video, I'm going to show you why your Blitz doesn't work for you in Madden. And this is a legacy issue. It's a blitzing concept. It's been, it's really the way to blitz on next gen. And if you're not doing this, it's really problematic for your pressures because your pressures will not be consistent and you will be really frustrated because you're not getting the pressure that you should be. Now I'm going to be showing it out of the meta blitz in Madden, which is DB fire two. And I'm going to show you there's two different, um, there's two different uh, outcomes that you can typically get with this defense and why if you're not seeing the results that you want on blitzing, this could be the number one reason why. Now, this cross applies to every year of next gen Madden at least. It cross applies to Madden 24. It is the the, the secret, if you will, uh, to making your pressure more consistent. It's actually something really simple that you can do uh, to solve this problem. Now, if you want to learn exactly how to blitz out of every formation in Madden 24, we're gonna be dropping a blitzing ebook over the course of the next couple of weeks that will uh, kind of create a foundation. What's cool about the Blitzing ebook is it's always updated throughout the year. So at any time, you can go to that ebook and you can literally um, look at every Blitz from every formation. So if you're not uh, in the Patreon yet, it's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to all of that. Not only do you get Blitzing ebooks, you get offensive, defensive ebooks, all of that stuff for just 10 bucks. So uh, if you want to become a Patreon member today, you can join by clicking the link in the description. Let's talk about why your blitz is not working um, in Madden. So here's here's the basic deal. So let's say we're running baseline press dollar. And if I stand about right here at the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice, and I just run down the center, you're going to see that that time actually got pretty good pressure. But let's say that they set up a little bit of a protection. So let's say that they, you know, maybe slide their line to the right. They block their running back. They ID on this side. They kind of set up a little bit of protection. You're playing somebody that kind of knows what they're doing. And you try to run the same basic defense. And as you can see here, that's how it actually worked. A lot of times it won't. Uh, and, and some of this is dependent a little bit on the formation that you're running. But if I just stand back here like this, um, you know, it's it's probably not going to be as consistent. Baseline dollar is just that good this year. But what I'll show you real quick here, let me see if I can kind of trigger it with this. Um, what I'll show you real quick that oftentimes happens, you see how he's kind of bumping like that? What's happening is the offensive line is not being triggered because your user is not doing anything to trigger them. Now, let's say, for example, that I get down in here and I run the same basic idea. Typically, what will happen, typically what will happen is, as you saw right there, you saw how that, that outside guy on the right kind of bumped into the tackle. It slows down the pressure significantly. And again, if I'm standing about right here, even if I run at the center, a lot of times you see how he's able to recover. Again, it kind of slows down the pressure. Now again, baseline dollar in Mad 23 is insane. It can come in really, really well against really anything. But um, here's how you can take it to the next level. All you have to do is when you come down here with your user, and, it, and you can be, I mean, you can even be back here if you wanted to. It's actually started uh, with 245 odd in Madden 22, I believe, um, and dollar to a degree. Basically, what you want to do is when you come down to the center to kind of distract him, basically, you're trying to just suck the guard inside. When you do that, you just hit left trigger. So you're going to come down, you're going to hit left trigger, and what you'll see is this blitz will come in significantly better and faster and more consistent and reliably. So when I run down, I'm just going to basically quick left trigger and kind of like trigger that animation. And as you can see, they're not going to be able to pick this up. Now, the beauty of this is it makes it makes the pressure on the opposite side so much better. And this is something you're going to need about a 23. Whenever you're triggering this, this still works from what I've heard. This right here, just trigger that just like that. And as you can see, the guards, they kind of suck inside. Now, the more over the center you are, um, at least in Madden 23, the better. So what you're going to see here, we're going to do the same pass pro. And now I'm going to stand about right here. And I'm going to try to jab at this right guard. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross over the guy. As soon as I get in this position, I'm going to hit left trigger and then go back into coverage. So what you're going to see here, same basic idea. Boom, trigger that guard to kind of dumb out. And sometimes in practice mode, they just kind of like build up kind of a resistance to the blitz. But that's basically the idea. And you will see this works really, really well in game. The more over the center, I think, the better now. Uh, it didn't used to be like that. See how that guard really sucked in that time? And then you get the pressure. So even if they pass pro, they're not going to have the, the, the success. So the same thing is true. Like let's say the block a tight end. 
loop this. Boom, the guard sucks in. And as you can see, that other guy is able to loop around. You need this in your pressure. And you can do this. The cool part about this is cross applies to every year of Madden, probably going forward, because it's just how blitzing on next gen uh, works from my experience. But the other thing that's really cool about this is you can apply it to any formation as well. So the nickel over, which I think is going to be the best defense, at least at the start of the year, you're standing right here. If that running back goes out, I'm going to run it. This guy just hit left trigger. Boom. You see the quick pressure. Now, the other thing is, it, let's say they block a running back. So they block a running back. What I'm going to do is when I see this, I'm going to pinch in and hit that left trigger. So I'm going to come in, hit left trigger, boom. And you see he loops through the B gap. That's the idea. And if you could really understand how to left trigger really, really well, you could even honestly, if you wanted to, you could start by holding left trigger. I, I personally uh, think it works a little better if you don't. But there you go. That is, to me, the biggest thing uh, when blitzing is you, when you hover in the gaps, you need to be holding this left trigger and, and I, honestly, even left trigger, right trigger, but basically just boom. And you see, we get that nice quick pressure from the nickel over. Guys, this is a really key thing when blitzing on next gen consoles. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get all of the ebooks, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. Get you access to everything. Our Blitzing ebook, all of our offensive and defensive ebooks that we're going to be dropping soon uh, here over the summertime to get you guys ready for Madden 24. You want to be in the Patreon. I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. 10 bucks to become a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.